Surprise, it's the mid-season five summer games patch. There's quite a bit to go through, so here we go. Let's begin with the balance changes first. Orisa, a four to five buff where its damage reduction is increased from 40 to 50%. The dev comments that we are increasing the effectiveness of Fortify to make Orisa a stronger counter against team compositions that lean on crowd control. For Ramatra, he has a small buff where the Ravenous Vortex projectile now passes through enemies but is still blocked by barriers. The dev comments explain the reasoning that the Ravenous Vortex projectile hits an enemy and bounces off unpredictably, delaying its activation. This quality of life change improves the ability's consistency and makes it easier to use against groups of enemies without fear of accidental collisions. Reinhardt is coming in with an interesting buff. His barrier field maximum health is increased from 1200 to 1400. The dev comments, we are increasing Reinhardt's barrier uptime to help him better protect his allies. We'll be keeping an eye on this as we want to avoid situations where players feel like they're always shooting at barriers. As a non rhyme player, yeah, we certainly don't want that to happen again. Wrecking Ball's quad cannons, which are his main weapon, is having its manual reload time reduced from 2 to 1.6 seconds. This does not affect the automatic reload while transformed as ball form, which is unchanged at 2 seconds. The dev comments, Wrecking Ball rarely reloads his quad cannons manually due to that automatic reload that triggers while transformed into a ball. This change makes reloading without changing forms a more viable option. I like this. Cassidy, so uh, this isn't a balance change since it's under the bug fix section, but it's significant enough to include in this section of the video. They fixed a bug where Cassidy's magnetic grenade did not disable the following, which was Baptiste's exo boots, and flights for both Sigma's gravitic flux and Mercy's Valkyrie. So if you're playing any of those three heroes against Cass, beware of the nade. This is sort of a buff for Cass in those matchups. Sojourn is getting a small buff to the primary fire SMG part of a railgun. First, the number of shots to reach maximum spread is increased from 8 to 12, so that's a huge buff to its overall accuracy, and its spread is being reduced by 12%. A tighter spread is also a net buff to her accuracy. The dev comments are that we are decreasing the overall spread on the railgun primary fire to help Sojourn build energy more consistently. The increased shots before reaching maximum spread will give players more direct control over aiming the projectiles when firing in short bursts. Soldier76 is getting three buffs because he's kind of fallen behind other hitscan counterparts like Ash and Cassidy. First, his heavy pulse rifle's damage is increasing from 18 to 19 per bullet. Helix Rocket's explosion damage is increased from 80 to 90. For his biotic field, the healing per second is also increased from 35 to 40. The dev comments, one of Soldier 76's strengths is his reliable damage output, but it hasn't quite been effective enough after his last round of changes. We'd like to avoid going all the way back up to 20 damage on his primary fire since it has been proven to be too powerful in the past. So instead, we are adjusting both primary and secondary fire damage slightly. He will also be able to stay in the fight longer and support his team more effectively with extra healing from the biotic field. Symmetra, the big topic of this mid-season 5 patch, the Photon Projector is getting some massive buffs. So, currently the secondary fire deals 45 damage on impact and 45 damage explosion, so a direct hit does 90 damage, and then nearby enemies will take that 45 explosion if they're close enough. Now, both the secondary fire impact and explosion damage are being increased to 50 damage each which allows you to two-tap a 200 HP hero, which is a really strong buff to her damage breakpoints. She will also now regenerate up to 30 shield health per second, that's only the blue part of her HP, when the primary fire beam deals damage to barriers or enemies with shield health. In other words, it's a huge buff for Symmetra against barrier matchups like Ramatra, Reinhardt, Sigma, Winston, Zarya, and it's also a buff against the shield health heroes, such as Sigma and Zarya again, Wrecking Ball, Symmetra, and Zenyatta. To offset these damage buffs to Symmetra, they're actually nerfing her sentry turret, as its damage per second is being reduced from 40 to 25. The turrets do, however, now reveal enemy heroes to allies while dealing damage and for one additional second afterwards to add some utility. Big dev comments here. Symmetra is exceptionally map dependent, to the point where she is oppressive in certain situations, yet 
ineffectual in others. The following changes increase her weapon's effectiveness while lessening some of the frustrations caused by her turrets. The Photon Projector Primary Fire, the beam, is now an even more pointed counter against certain heroes due to its conditional shield health regeneration, and the Secondary Fire now takes one less fully charged projectile to eliminate most heroes. Symmetra's turrets are especially powerful when focusing on the same target due to the combined total damage output coupled with their slowing effect. Thus, we are lowering their raw damage and angling them towards utility to make spreading them out a more viable option. Torbjorn is receiving a similar treatment in his power shift, but nowhere near the same as Symmetra in my opinion. His rivet gun secondary fire, which is the shotgun, has its spread reduced from 5 to 4.5 degrees. His overload though now reloads 6 ammo on use, so you can continue to pound your enemies a little longer. Now for the turret nerfs, the damage is being reduced from 14 to 11 per shot, that's good, and its cooldown is increased from 10 to 12 seconds. The dev comments that Torbjorn's turret has a bit too much impact for little investment, so we are shifting some of its power to the rest of his kit to reward more accurate gunplay. Overload now partially reloads ammo, which guarantees that there is no downtime between activating the ability and shooting projectiles. For Kiriko, the healing Ofuda recovery is being reduced from 1 to 0.9 seconds. That's a buff. Dev comments that originally we increased the Ofuda recovery time to promote more kunai usage between healing bursts. Despite that benefit, we are partially reverting that change so the primary fire feels more responsive in situations where Kiriko is pressured to focus entirely on healing. And Zenyatta, the tank main complaints have been heard. The maximum range for Discord has been reduced from 40 to 30 meters, and the time to wear off the target when not in line of sight is reduced from 2 to 1.5 seconds. Dev's comment, the combination of these changes will make it riskier for Zen to apply Discord and increase counterplay for the affected target. Now for the rest of the patch, the current event is Summer Games with Lucio Ball, Lucio Ball Remix, and the all-new Winston's Beach Volleyball mode available to play with the new Epic Doomfist skin as one of the cosmetic rewards. Finally, there's also a brand new competitive mode called Team Q, which I'm definitely playing. This is a 5-stack full group Q only and will only be available until the end of Season 5. Some notable points are that you must have 5 people, players can group up regardless of how far apart they are in rank, so a bronze player can match up with a grandmaster they can queue together. And finally, the last section of this patch is that you can actually skip five tiers of the battle pass as a Twitch drop reward from July 11th to July 20th, so come open, lurk, or watch my stream at twitch.tv slash for the next nine days to skip some tiers if you don't have time to play but can afford to keep my stream open while you're obviously being very busy, being very productive, working, or studying. If you already finished the battle pass, the tier skips carry over to season six. They won't add it to your prestige levels if you already finished the season five battle pass, so you're good there. Anyway, see you on stream. Bye-bye.